Hey what is up, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna show you the strategy I use when running sales. Even though you don't run sales often, you can use this strategy to maximize the revenue from each sale you're running and squeeze out the most conversions possible. So here it is, I always use it, even though uh, you don't have to be running sales often, have brands running them like once or twice per year. You want to have this entire strategy to make sure that you generate more sales because by using this strategy you're having like three chances minimum to get people to buy rather than uh, the send this one email. So that's not optimal. Sending more emails is optimal and sending them with like an idea behind them is even more optimal. So as you can see, uh, it consists of four emails where the fourth one is optional. So you're gonna not gonna um, abuse it. You're gonna use it very rarely, but I'm gonna cover it later on. Email number one is being sent between one to two days before the sale and the reason and content for the email is just to hype people up, uh, announce the sale, so hey, tomorrow we have a big sale coming, uh, make sure you check your inboxes at, I don't know, 6 p.m. EST or whatever. Another reason why you want to do it is you want to ask people to mark your emails as important. What it's gonna do is gonna boost your deliverability and just ha you'll have a higher chance of landing in the primary tab more often. Then email number two, this is the actual sale uh, going live. So you want to make this email very short and concise and the time of the, uh, of the email is obviously the day the sale starts. So uh, sale is live plus urgency. If you have like some SKUs or products low in stock, you want to tell people about it and create this urgency, but don't fake it. I always recommend it. Never fake the urgency because it's gonna turn around you in the long term. So don't do it. Um, and those two emails are gonna be design based emails so you know those beautiful designs that you always do but one thing I would recommend for email number two is removing all social links and keeping it simple keeping it very very straightforward so you don't want to confuse people or let's say they received the email they went onto your Instagram and they started scrolling their explorer feed what will happen is they will just end in the endless loop of scrolling and they won't ever go back to the email and your site so what I recommend you do is remove any social links, have very simple structure, which is like obviously a uh, CTA above default, then like somebody and then other CTA. So make the image short, concise, all, all have like maximum two CTAs and one link, one single landing page where you're sending traffic to. So people, you don't like lose, lose any recipients or customers in, in the process. Email number three, uh, we're sending it as like a reminder. It's being sent one day before the sale ends and the content is last chance to shop. So you have 24 hours to you know shop now and save 15% uh, of your entire order but what I like to do with this email is use a plain text format and there are a few reasons behind it so first reason is the obvious one which I always talk about uh, per more personal and it stands out more because if you sign up to like 50 different newsletters every single brand is gonna send like beautiful designed emails where like you're filtering the content by seeing yeah I mean it's beautiful email, it's probably sales one, I'm not gonna read it. Where on the other hand, if you open one email that is plain text, you're gonna be curious what's inside, because it's not usual for brands to send emails like that. That's why you want to do it. So this is the reason number one. But then reason number two is deliverability. So design-based emails, most of the times, they'll go to promotions unless you are using some custom HTML code that we use for our clients as well. But if you're not using that, chances are uh, when you're sending promotions over and over again, those design-based emails, you will end up in promotions uh, regardless of what you do. Hey, just a quick interruption. So if you're running an e-commerce store and you want to generate between 30 to 50% more sales every single month without spending more money on ads, go to ventimail.com and book a call with me. My team and I will help you handle your entire email marketing by setting up your flows, campaigns, leads, growth, deliverability optimization, segmentation, will take over your copywriting and designs so you don't have to even lift a finger and you will see anywhere between 30 to 50% of your total revenue coming from Clavio each month. Go to ventivemail.com, book a call with me and let's have a chat. The email number three, when it's plain text email, it's gonna get better in box placement, meaning it's gonna get into the primary tab rather than the promotions tab. So let's say email number one had 40% open rate, email number two had 40% open rate as well. So email number three will get like 60 plus percent open rate, getting more eyeballs on the offer. And usually what happens is that email number three tends to outperform email number two and get generate more sales just because it has better inbox placement plus the urgency. So you have 24 hours to shop or the sale is gonna be over. I mean, it is urgent, apps are gonna act. So that's why it works so well. 
and then we have email number four which is optional one um and i include it because it's cool but it's cool if you don't abuse it if you use it like two or three times a year max because if you extend every single sale it's never gonna be urgent i mean if you do it for every single sale you run uh and let's say you run sale every single week or bi-weekly or every single month it's not gonna get people to act which is not something we want that's why i recommend you do this maximum twice or absolute maximum thrice per year what it's spread out across the entire year so once you could do it in like april then for example in july or august and then in during black friday cyber monday in november or december and the idea is simple like let's say this hell was supposed to end on sunday you're like yeah so this hell is extended for another 12 hours or 24 hours and if you want to boost your sales even more you can upgrade the sale so let's say the initial sale was 10 bucks off uh then you would extend it and upgrade it so 24 or more hours to 15 bucks off i guarantee it's gonna generate the ton of sales but don't abuse it as i said like you have to remember that because if you do it every single time people are gonna get used to that and they just won't be acting anymore one more thing you have to remember about is exclusions so especially when you're sending sales emails um let's say someone bought from you three days ago at a regular price you want to either inform them, inform them that if they you know buy at discounted price they're not gonna be able to do it they're not gonna be able to refund their order and buy the same items cheaper or you have to exclude them i would recommend uh, excluding them anyway same goes for all the other emails so if, if someone bought from the email number two you don't want to send them email number three which is like a reminder because they're just gonna mark you as spam or unsubscribe and we don't want to do that same goes especially same goes for email number four so you have to exclude all the people that bought from the previous emails plus people who bought from you recently in the like last seven or 15 days so exclusions are very very important you have to do it always so yeah to sum up four emails uh, where three are always you're always gonna send those three at least email number four is gonna be optional um i do it very rarely like twice a year max that's why i recommend you do the same this one is plain text email this one's uh and the last one are design heavy emails if you do this strategy if you implement it uh, for every single sale you run i guarantee you're gonna make way more sales than you would do normally usually so implement this strategy if you have any questions about itself let me know in the comments down below I'll, i always answer all your questions and comments and other than that that's gonna be it for this video if you enjoyed it make sure you like subscribe to my channel and check out my other clavio videos guides and flow tutorials and case studies and so on and so on Thanks for watching, have a great day and take care, bye!